Hello, YouTube, and welcome into not the start of, but the start ish of another Let's Play for Civilization VI. I'm the game mechanic. I'm very confident today. Uh, no, we, we, we're, we've got this interesting game going. I, I don't know about this. I really don't. If we take both Brussels and Geneva, I think it'll be worth it. One, two, three, four, five. Six. It doesn't hit our capital here as far as um, the factory bonus. So we're probably not taking Geneva. It's probably looking to hit three cities. So it's probably not a realistic thing. We may want to dam it anyways. Um, but we probably just put the aqueduct there and the campus here. I think I like that a little bit better. Especially since we're going to need some good science. I need a good science district actually relatively soon. Um, so that we can we can make sure that uh, we, we keep up with, with military tech. Um, and that's kind of a big deal. So we might be thinking about a government plaza Bubba just like right here. I can't catch a lot of streams. Thanks for uploading to YouTube. Leave Aberdeen alone. <laughs> Bannerman, thank you for the $10, my friend. And you are most welcome. Uh, love it, loving getting back onto YouTube, man. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Uh, and thank you for the $10. That's very kind of you. I will add that into our thing later. 98.94 gigawatts. We're almost at the 99%. 98.99 now. Wow. Uh, that'll probably happen today. So much hype and much ado. I think we are on the Plantation Pantheon bandwagon. I think God of the Forge is also an excellent pick here, uh, especially considering we may wind up going to like a Renaissance or later war with, um, with Genghis. But we'll see. Chimera, thank you for the bits. Boreas, thank you for the bits. Borderline, of course. Spanner-Man, thank you for the dollars. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Let's get to 99%. I think we did. I think you guys did it. Yep. 99.2. Wow. 0.2. Easy. Easy, easy game. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. Thank you for the Thank 200 bits. Oh, my gosh. We're just, we're just going to finish it up immediately. Immediately times. All right. So let's make our dedication. Dedication. Uh, best way to get to your next golden age is through free inquiry, generally speaking. Monumentality is just too much production. You, you can't be that wide. And we don't have a religion. This is also a really good one to do. But free inquiry should get us there with lots of lovely inspirations to take. So we take that. And Pantheon-wise, yeah, um, unfortunately, Earth Goddess is taken. I would definitely be considering that, especially with Uluru. I was hoping to get Earth Goddess and have some sick faith gen coming out of this city. But I don't think that's going to happen. You think religious settlements is too strong to pass these days? Tamar commands thee to take over Aberdeen. <laughs> Her most holy figure of walling faithfulness demands blood sacrifice of the Scots. Her wish is your command, O ye lowly servant. Deviations will leave thee to a five-hour reroll stream upon the next sieve. All hail Tamar. Tamar, thank you for the other bits, my friend. You are ridiculous. And I enjoyed that. I do think religious settlements has its moments. Um... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Unsung Hero, for the thousand. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for the thousand bits, my friend. And thank you so much for the uh, the food fight bits, or the food fight emotes. Much appreciated, my dude. Um, so, yeah, I think Plantations is just the long-term choice for us. I would like a Faith Pantheon, but Quarries is never really worth it. I am having oh, my gosh. Atlas there as well time. with the 500. That we did it. We did it. You guys did it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, 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 now I don't know what to do. Now I have to buy plane tickets. 100% exactly. Thank you so, so much, everybody. You guys are all the best. Thank you for helping me achieve that goal. I'll see you at TwitchCon in like a month. It's pretty exciting. Thank you, friends. Little bits. <laughs> and thank you for the last couple of bits, Atlas and Drew. Much appreciate. <laughs> good question Ordos. good question thank you everybody okay um and yeah so looking at plantation pantheon like we have a good amount of plantation so we have silk we have dyes we have a couple bananas um for the derpy bits rip aberdeen shortly i think the other real contestant here is god of the forge because we are going to want to build a lot of military units and 25 percent is no joke but I think I like the long-term implication of the of plantation, so we're gonna go with that. And there's our mysticism boost. Craftsmanship should be boosted here soon. Let's go get this salt online, and then probably a quarry. If we can avoid this culture, we should. Don't have much money. Don't have a ton of gold per turn. We do have some iron accumulating already. 
I do think we're going to need a Magnus to chop out this army. Our whole, all of this in the capital is probably getting chopped out for uh, units, is my guess. So I think a Magnus here makes sense. And I might need to chop out like two or three settlers before we go ham. We'll see how effective they can be. And by they, I mean the immortals. Are you willing to give me open borders? Because that would just be the best. Not willing to give me just, but straight up is fine. Nodulin, thank you so much. Have I ever taken Victor? Probably not. Unless, unless to meme and satisfy chat. Victor has his uses. I'm just not good at taking advantage of them. All right, so Magnus on his way here. We are going to want the building. I wish we had something to trade. We're going to trade that salt right away. That's for sure. So he's sending out another settler, settling me all the cities, which is quite good. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, but Ham is not going to be very effective against a city at all. <laughs> Fertilization is good. Victor's good for war now. <sighs> yeah. It's really only this, though, right? I think, I think I'm happier chopping out the army. But he's got some science going already. This is undiscovered. Wow, there's so many better Petras than the one we're planning. So 9 and 13 I think is pretty good. It's a sweet eye patch. What's up, Slappy? How you doing, buddy? What is happening? Are you interested in this? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and trade with Scotland and then use his money to kill him. We probably have a while before the war, so I think we can get most of the value out of this 30-turn deal. Okay. Um, almost to that. Two good tiles here. Four good tiles here, I believe. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's just Civ things. Sometimes you got to use people's own money to kill them. Twenty faith is not super interesting. What is this scout's purpose other than to obviously explore? So if I go here, I can actually get up here next turn. And we get a little bit more information about this. It's not great. Where is Scotland sending that settler? Good question. Future Persia is my guess. He doesn't know it yet, but... <laughs> pass his butter. <laughs> you pass the butter. Oh my god. So I have three turns until I can finish this craftsmanship boost. So we really shouldn't waste any culture uh, finishing that off. We can put a little into drama and poetry or mysticism. Mysticism, I think, makes sense. I need more cities. Oh, we should plan this.
probably the best. It's pretty good. It gets us a, uh, so this starts off as two. It's touching me, two other, oh my gosh. Slappy, thank you for the five gifted subs, my friend. <laughs> Welcome in, Aeon, Shredmaster Falcon. Uh, our, our past... Paskowitz, nice. Respartus, thank you and welcome in. Make sure you guys thank Slappy for your brand new subs. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Should make an effort in the Tot series to create a wonder associated with that Civ in each of their games. What would that be for us? I don't know what that would be for us. Hanging's, I'm sure, gone. All right, how else is this looking? This is a plus two. Yeah, I think I think this setup's just better. Apadana would be fantastic to build. I would I would I would be. I just don't know how we're doing it. <laughs> I've never heard a sub or anything before. How does it work? Um, so you get our emotes. You get all of our lovely emotes. Um, and you can use those on any Twitch channel. You also don't have to watch ads when joining the channel or watching VODs. Um, and it helps support me. And you get a cool chat badge. Mausoleum. We could maybe do Mausoleum. Okay, weird. Nice, Mythrock. Yeah, maybe up here, maybe he's settling up here. I don't know. I really don't know. It could be it could be in our way. Two turns on iron working. I don't think I have to finish this quite yet. Do they do the stuff to yeah. your butt? Shop, thank you for the uh, eight months, Do you get paid more if they do stuff to your butt? No. Much appreciated. I'll do it. I'm in. Hey. Thank you, and welcome back in to the shop. <laughs> thank you for the ongoing support. Appreciate it. Um. Okay. A little bit better gold. Yeah, we need those plantations. Actually, I wonder if I should be going towards plantations. I do want to unlock pyramids, but I don't even have the city for it yet. I do need to harvest the stone at some point, but maybe pottery into irrigation, which means I'm actually using this charge here, not here. I think that's okay. They could use a source of food and that's gonna be a plus five farm. Okay, that's fine. Where are we going? Oh, this way. Okay. State workforce, military training. Um, so cool. So now we start accumulating. We do need a general, and this one will be good for us too uh, because it'll have uh, a great work of writing here, which is fantastic. So that'll be good. This is a good merchant. So the general and the merchant look pretty good early on. Hey, Hogue. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, it's actually here. And I don't want to buy the tile. I believe it'll just expand here naturally because it's a resource. So that should not be a problem. It's in our second ring rather than our third. Because we will need to buy this. Should I buy this now? We're going to need another builder. Should I build that builder now? Production, survey. <laughs> My first emotes, I've been Twitch deflowered. Welcome in, dude. Who would already be uh, generating great merchant points? Somebody that found the... Um, Somebody that found that wonder, maybe? Although they would be getting general points already. Could be Egypt. Could be uh, could be Mansa Musa with four already. Discovered Australia can get some early science going. Yeah, yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. Vince. Hope you feel better. Thank you, buddy. YouTube content is back. Awesome. Iron, <laughs> finally. Thank you, Vince. I appreciate the bits, my friend. And absolutely, absolutely. You have a plus nine and a plus seven campus. Crazy. Hi, Maestro. So that got us a free envoy here. Oh, and irrigation, good. So this is gonna help our science a lot. 
a lot, a lot. So we're gonna get, we got two here from Geneva, and we're gonna get two more. Um, unfortunately, we don't get the double envoy. That would be quite nice, but uh, yeah, it's all right. You're feeling the reroll pain? <laughs> Thanks, Drew. I appreciate you sharing in that. Do you want to build the barracks? I think getting the, a builder right now makes more sense, though. Good morning. Hi, Lisbon. Certainly not a first meet there either, but I think I want the gold. So we're going to send this one off right away. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Maestro. Thank you for the bits. Three for three on coastal starts. Uh, my condolences, my friend. Yeah, that's a big deal. Um, that should hopefully get us enough money to at least get this war started. Almost done with this. Probably work on a builder there as well. And we're waiting three more turns. Okay, that's fine. Scotland wants to be my friend. I know, and that's unfortunate. <laughs> Culture bombing t pasture tiles feels nice. It does, yeah, for sure. Now, nah, Scotland is unfortunately, um, unfortunately for him, fortunately for us, he's not long for this world. Now, if you keep building me crappy campuses for no freaking reason, when you have very easily plus three ones, I'm gonna be a little ticked off. Uh, again, we're going to our plantations and that's gonna be even more gold. We should probably buy this. We should probably buy this. And then probably improve this. So I'd like to buy some tiles. Do I build another encampment here? <laughs> Sorry, Unsung Hero. What a troll campus. I know, it makes me a little sad. I could use a second encampment for um, Terracotta. I think the builders matter too much. All right, so we have found the end of our continent pretty much. Still getting goodie huts. Uh, not a very aggressive player when it comes to military. Can you explain the main benefits of encampments? It's a defensive district, and once you get walls, it, it gets a city shot, right? Like, it gets a, an ability to shoot on its own, which is quite good. Um, it will give you extra XP to the uh, units that you trade there, or train there, rather, um, with the buildings like the barracks, for example. So 25% extra experience for all melee and ranged land units in the city. And this this is a big deal. This didn't used to stick around. So when you pre-built your warriors and upgraded them to swordsmen, you lost this promotion. That has been fixed. And it's and it's an excellent change so that throughout the rest of the game, these units that we're building as warriors that will become immortals and eventually musket men will, will re retain that 25% combat experience um, and, and be able to basically get to level four really really fast. And that's pretty powerful. Um, and this, this also increases your strategic resource stockpile. So we can get up to 60 now instead of 50. Um, it also gives me... Production, housing, and great general points. Those great generals are incredibly valuable when you're, when you're doing warmonger games because they give you five combat strength to units of the era, the relevant era that they're from. Um, and then they retire into something that's usually pretty decent. So, does my continent look like Africa? I don't know yet. Maybe a little bit. You get paid. Do they do stuff Maybe a little to bit. Butt? Gamer Grabs, uh, thank you for do the you gifted sub. Welcome in, Draconis. Welcome yeah. in. It's fine. I'll do it. I'm in. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate the gifted subs. Yeah, we really want this. We're, we're okay going to mysticism. And in two turns, I think I'm going to finish... I think I'm going to finish this builder and try to get these last two, last three settlers out before we go military. And I think that's probably a mistake with Persia. Uh, but I, th I really want to get to these spots. Oh, I forgot the, about this camp, too. This guy should be actually going that way. Maybe I shouldn't be building those settlers. No man ever wetted clay and then left it. As if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Next turn. Border growth. So that's good. 
Then we can tech irrigation now. <laughs> I can give you even more of a reason to keep coming back. Aw, oh, thanks, Gamer Gramps. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, we should actually be going to deal with this. Here, and then we actually want the policy switch. Not quite yet. So let's put one more turn back into craftsmanship. What is with the flat desert on this map? Holy cow. Wow, he's got swords, and so he's probably going to kill Lisbon, which is a bit of a bummer. Because that's giving me four gold per turn right now. All right, so now... Actually, we have both of these policy switches, because we have this. That gives us more science from the uh, envoy that we get from it as well. Uh, and then I, I'm going to get these two settlers out. We do that. I could have waited and grabbed this goody hut and gotten the extra XP first. I should have done that. He still gets the promotion. So we all good. A little bit of gold there helps a lot. And we can start pushing towards political philosophy. We're certainly not warring before then. Equinox, thank you for the host. Rip Lisbon. He finished this. Why you gotta be like that? He overrides a hill. For a mediocre district. I'm doing well, man. How are you? Thank you, thank you. All right, so yeah, it works. I didn't get my uh, policy timing quite perfect, but that's okay. I have seen some of the coverage of humankind. Um, yeah, cautiously optimistic. Uh, it, it's hard to match Civ for these games. Like, I just think that this is like the experience that you want, generally speaking. Uh, but I think competition is really good, and so I'm excited. I hope that it's a good game. Um, if that if that makes sense. All right. It's going to give us housing to we're at 4 of 6. It's going to be a weird purchase, but I'm going to buy them a granary. I realize that seems like a waste of money, but in the long run I don't think it will be. We have 3 uh I mean we've got more than 3, but we've got 3 guaranteed chops. I suppose I should chop over here first, since eventually this will be... No, because I would probably want to chop and mine, and then maybe chop... Eh. Probably chop here, mine, and then stone. Yeah, that's fine. That seems right. Whoa. Some weird vision. So he did get another city up here, by the way. That's that's fine, I think. I'm going to get the quarry boost here. Although, I need four turns for Magnus's second promotion. Otherwise, I'm just going to lose this population that I'm chopping out. I guess maybe I don't care about the granary then. We save our money. And we just don't use our second promotion there for Magnus. We're not we're not building that many settlers of our own, and so we'll just use that uh, we'll just use that growth to teeter totter in between. Hey Jaywalk, first time first time got you live, big fan. Welcome in, dude. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. I'm happy that you like what I do. That's the best. Finish this. All right, this is weird. Okay. Did you guys kill that thing? 
No, it's down there. Surviving Mars. I haven't. I, I own it. I haven't played it all that much. Which is kind of sad. It's definitely a game I can get into. I've been a little bit busy. Use the scouts to block Genghis here. That's a great idea, actually. Yeah, that's a great idea. I will see if I can do it. It's a great game. Yeah, I know. I've heard I've heard good things. Everything I've seen about it, it's been awesome. Oh, no. He is building this hanging gardens. That would be pretty good. Should offer 1.5 playback speeds on live streams. I know, right? I definitely should. Sorry. It's just who I am. All right. So there's our masonry boost. Could scoop the city after he takes it down? Nah. No itching and needing drugs. So I've been taking Benadryl at night the last two nights, and I think it's better. I think my body just, like, needs it to, to deal with whatever's in the air, whatever dust and stuff is going on. Um, so, yeah. So I, 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 I'm feeling a little bit better today. I also don't feel as, like, Benadryl hungover as I did yesterday. You're about to grow into a third decent tile. That'll help this production as well. Need some amenities now. Yeah, I would never be able to hold that city with loyalty being what it is. But I like the idea of trying to block it. Like, we'll, we'll put a unit here. So if he wants it, he has to come all the way around. And then we have the hill promotion on both these guys. So I'll keep one on this side of the river and one on this side of the river and just try to block him. Seriously? Eleven fertilized tiles? This this was finally pop three. And I'm gonna put districts all over this. God dang it. Uh. <laughs> oh well. Oh, well. Okay, so we finished this trade route to him. So I suppose if I send this in reverse, it's bad. Disaster's so fun. Um, what do we want to do with this trade route? We can get more science by going to him. This is still, this is four gold per turn. If I consider it an air purifier, um, that's a, I, I think I definitely need a humidifier because it's so dry. Um, a purifier I haven't really thought a lot about. It's building Machu Picchu. What if he gets Machu Picchu? Then we for sure have to war him. Oh, and he's building the Jeb. I wanted that. I was really hoping that could go here. And hit like four or five cities. But I guess it'll go here and hit his cities. And I'll have to just take them. This is really awful uh, culture land. No seaside resorts, really. Um, and I'm going to wait to chop, I think. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> What's up, Amaze? How you doing, man? So that guy sits there. Or 
Why do I want the Jeb? Um, Jeb is incredibly good on cultural games, which is ultimately how I'd like to finish off this game. Um, if you can, if you can get it to hit like four or five of your cities, getting an extra like twenty to twenty-four faith per turn is huge, um, especially because it's kind of early on. So it's an excellent source of faith, right? Like one wonder for twenty-four faith. Think of how many holy sites that would be, plus the buildings. So pretty big fan of that, and then it also gives us a place to put our um, our theater squares next to, right? So can you use this new schedule of mine? It, I didn't. It was kind of the same as the old one today. I'm doing slightly better at doing it. It is equally important to have a happy. Okay. Um. So we're nine turns from political philosophy. I think that's fine. I don't think we need it. I think we have, with the two sources of iron, I don't think we need black marketer. I think I'm just going to skip this. <laughs> Thanks, Maestro. Maybe just Liang. Because they get here but for this extra charge. I think that's pretty valuable. Um. Okay, and then are we settling... I mean, I doubt we're ever getting the pyramids, but I think this is the better city. We will have to buy them a couple tiles. Oh, not used to be on Wednesdays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, back to Wednesdays. Settler we need, because we need... I need this one for sure. I think this one we could settle way later. What are we going to do with all of our faith in a culture slash war game? Um, yeah, culture. So later on, uh, faith is very important because you can get uh, national parks, which are excellent for not only amenities, but tourism um, and rock bands, which are stupid good. Do I want this? Am I ready for this here? We'd have a one, two, one, three tile. We do get our first paradise in there because I don't mind giving up some of the food. Yeah, this is good. Who's the best vanilla war focus sieve? Um, pound for pound, it's probably the Aztecs because they get so much extra combat strength on attacks. So seven and nine turns. So yeah, so we basically eat up the rest of this time to pit political philosophy. Is it still worth it to build build parks? Seems like rock bands get an insane amount of tourism. Yeah, I think that's probably the better way to go, but I still think parks are quite good. Especially if you buy them all at a discount. It's really good. Uh, so, so Hemel, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I think I'm just going to uh, Capital. Two gold, one culture. We get two production towards this. Ooh, that changes it too much, actually. Oh, I guess they were technically DLC, weren't they? You're right. You're right on Sung Hero. Um, Rome is vanilla. Who else? I'm trying to think of all the other vanilla civs and who was really good at war. Erecting a column. Solomon is not vanilla. Spreading lies. France, yeah. France. Got that extra three combat strengths. Pretty good. 
What do you think is the best peaceful civ to win with? Russia for, for religion? I don't know. If you want to be peaceful, I think you should play Australia. Their, their, their ability is such a big deterrent. Scythia. Yep, there you go. Thank you. Scythia. Scythia, as far as vanilla. You are correct. That is the correct answer. All right. I do need an early campus here. I'm too scared to unlock horses. They're going to be horses right here. Because in all likelihood, on a balanced start like this, they're going to be in our capital. So we need to get to theater squares and place this before then. To a lesser extent down here, although that could also be horses. So we probably want to place their campus here soon. And then I don't think we're blocking any other districts. Can't have horses on the desert. Yeah. So no horses yet. Great bath. That's pretty late. 56. Try to get a promotion on that guy. So I, I actively want to change this. So that Liang can at least establish on the same turn. So we'll see what happens there. Now it's two and two and we should get the extra charge. So that's good. Here's that promotion I was talking about. And Immortals with Battlecry are great. Cool, you're sticking there. You're sticking there. Although I should really be sending them over here to explore. But how do you even get through these mountains? You can't. So might as well just wait. All right. So we buy the barracks. So that we earn our general points even faster. Mongolia starting to work on some generals. We definitely want this first one with the writing. Um, and then that gives us another housing here, which is good. I, I could use another builder. We could use money. We need we need to get our plantations going. So this is our first improve for sure. Because we can get, uh, what, like six more gold per turn? That's pretty significant. Plus we're about to get two. But we have to buy a tile. I don't know. There's a lot to do. A lot going on. A lot of things to prep for in this type of a game. So we get to keep the gold from the copper in the base, which is quite nice, especially since a copper desert mine isn't all that exciting unless you have, um, unless you have, what's it called? Petra. Friendship? He, probably not until he's, he's like, like, likes me. Marketplace gives us gold in the cap. That's true. We've got lots of other things to build, though. I'm excited for it. Life, man. Life is good. <laughs> nice, Jaywalk. I've never gotten Great Bath on Deity. It's cool. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. What do you think about an ability to route your trades yourself? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. But I feel like things like that are really only, only would get put in the game for like the really advanced players. And I think probably overcomplicate things for new players. And I think that's a really tough line to walk as probably a company that wants their game to be access as accessible as, as possible, but also as good as it can be. So while I think that would be cool for us, I think that might not be great for, for a new player experience. Ride 
fighting means sharing. It's fine. All right, and then this, they were done at the same time, so we should have four charges. We do. Um, I could see his walls helping a lot. Could also just get started on some unit production. Maybe I just have them build my next builder. Do this, buy this, do this, and then send them up to do these last couple chops. Move Magnus, hopefully buy... How do I buy these tiles? I seriously like, can't afford it. Is there a list of what gives you error score and how many? You can always go in the Civilpedia, and this far right button is historic moments. And then there are major moments, which are worth more than the minor moments. And then you can always look these up here. Anti-horse campus. Yeah, I need that too. We need all kinds of stuff. Do I think uh, if you're by the natural wonder, if it's... Uh, is, it, is that good enough reason to take fire goddess? Mm, probably not. I think if you have earth goddess, it's usually just a better choice. But if you have that plus like two or three volcanoes on a high disaster setting, then sure. Efficient? That's the wonder, right? Sell the silk for more gold. It's true. We're getting to the point where we're, at, where we're going, going to need some amenities here soon. But I think you're probably right. We probably sell the silk next turn. Nope. Didn't want to unlock horses. So there we go. Culture is good. Gold is good. I no longer need to lock the food. Probably get the farms here. I do want the campus here. Um, I can afford the tile now. I also need to unlock these next. That's going to be tough because I'm not really building a wonder anytime soon. We're going to delay horses for a while, I think, yet. Um, and speaking of districts, we know we want this here, so we might as well lock it in. Okay, so when you're doing war, you definitely want oligarchy, so we're going to start and probably stay with that. Uh, we may wind up switching into Classic Republic before we either build our building or go to the next government, just so we have this legacy card, which is going to be better since we're largely on one continent. Uh, but certainly, oligarchy is the way to go for now. Um, how close are we being to being done? Two turns here. So I can, I can do this for three. Finish that settler. Um, and then... Run this for a second. That seems good. I think I want this. I'm, I'm going to need this as well. Could also get another paradise here. Could also just harvest this uh, rice and give them three pop.
Yeah, locking in districts is a big deal. I think more than, than that, we want this. So that's 80. So we can get that, get that plantation. That's quite valuable. And then send the builder up with their two charges. Harvest this stone for some military and then harvest these for military and pop. Let's move Magnus up here and hopefully get the wonder at some point. Hey, Stan. Which of your district spots will Valletta use for an encampment? Uh, I don't think that's an issue. Need 13 more era score. So he did get the Jeb. AI is so much better at building uh, wonders these days. It's the same difference. Probably most important to get this uh, trader before we start building military. Should help with pyramids. Pyramids is either going to be open or not, and I'm, I'm fine taking the risk. Maybe I can snipe that. I should bring this guy down to try to help. How am I going to kill Scotland? He's at 61 science. Hey, Rachel Cool. Hello, Down Under. Yeah, sell the silk, I guess. I'm worried that we're getting too tall now. Like, we need the amenities, actually. <laughs> Good day. Yes, that would be a, a, an appropriate greeting as well. This could be interesting. I may not be able to kill him. Yeah, his science is incredibly high. Also, again, we should lock in this district. Now we're protecting the, against horses there. Accent was deplorable. Appreciate it, though. I aim to please, or sometimes not so highly. Sometimes I just aim. <laughs> hey, J-Bones. How you doing, bud? You're from Aberdeen, too? You're the second one in chat here that's from Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Little bits. Gotta go. I'll catch the VOD later. Vince, thank you so much for the bits, my Stream. friend. Appreciate that a whole lot. Thank you for the hundred. You can also run the general points. I don't think we need to. National Park planning on Uluru. Um... Can you desert on national parks? I guess I guess you can. I hadn't really thought about that, but yeah, that's a good idea. Third, if you want to count Dentrosi. There you go. So three people. Three, three Aberdeen natives. How about this? Or this? That's actually probably more important. Hey, BB Pop. How you doing? <laughs> Didn't pick timing as bad last time when I was logging off. No, we're, 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 we're here for a while. Uh, and actually, we do need to put a cut in this video. Let's finalize our government like this. I do think I like the pyramid production. Um, that's pretty important. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll finish up this turn, and then we'll put a cut in the old video. This is the dumbest city I've ever built, and I'm so excited. So excited. Okay, three turns on that, and then um, warriors. You can't, I guess with the, uh, not going to get it. Not going to tech the theater squares yet? Not quite yet. I think we can wait a little longer. He 
got the Hanging Gardens. You actually saw his borders grow as a result. Um, okay, so let's put a cut in the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching over on YouTube, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash Game Mechanic. Come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you there. Thank you again for watching.